Boom. All right. I just got done playing the fucking uh, final, what is this? Smoking Guns event. Haven't played this game in, well, I mean, I guess I technically played in February. I think I played one game. I think I've played one game since like the last week of January, literally like one match. So I haven't played shit. So I've been out of the game for a while. Thought this game was a lot of fun. Grinded the absolute hell out of it. Basically just stopped playing it because I did everything there was to do, pretty much. Did everything there was to do, you know, used all the things, tried all the stuff. Like, I could have kept playing for funsies, but I was starting to get, the meta was starting to get a little stale. Um, and, I mean, I was still having fun, but it was, it was starting to get a little, I could feel it start to get a little boring. So I stopped playing when I did, for that reason. To be fair... Again, I grinded the absolute shit out of the game, so it's on me. I put in a fuck ton of hours. It's it's not surprising that it got a little stale. Not necessarily the game's fault. I played the shit out of it. Um, I'm looking through the updates here because I wanted to catch up on the stuff that I missed. Because again, I haven't I haven't like looked. I've I've hardly watched anyone play. Like I have not touched the game in like the past month. I played one game during the Valentine's event. I did not even get the the stuff for it. Um, just basically did not touch the game. And what I noticed looking through the patch notes is that I didn't really miss anything. Uh, <laughs> they were doing very consistent like balance changes and updates and stuff like that. And they, they've still been doing consistent updates. But looking at it, a lot of it has been like bug changes. And I get it. You're, they're getting closer to the new season. It's probably because of that, right? There's probably a ton of shit that they're just like saving for the new season. Um, but yeah, I, I really haven't missed a whole lot. I was kind of worried that, like, oh, there's been, like, some major meta shifts or something like that. No, I looked through it. It's been mostly just bug fixes and the new events. Uh, that's pretty much been it. The last, you know, major balance changes was, like, this update, uh, which I... Okay, this is this... Okay, I did play a little bit of this one because it was, like, the heavy uh, solo thing, I think, or the... Whatever it was. Yeah, this, this set. Yeah, I did play a little bit of this. This was the last one that had, like, some significant balance changes, and it was, like, this stuff. And honestly, I say significant, but I guess it had the Recon Sense one. The Recon Sense one was the most significant thing. But other than that, uh, a lot of this stuff wasn't too crazy. Um, there was the update before that that went kind of hard, if I could find it. This one, yeah, this one had a lot of stuff. Defib changes, like, this one had a lot of stuff in it. I think the other one was mostly Recon. This one had a lot of stuff in it. But these last two updates um, were the last two that have had, like, any significant balance changes. Um, and the reason why I'm like talking around that is because, uh, my point for, for this recording going into season two, um, having not played the game stuff that I want to see in season two would like to see some significant balance changes. Cause again, like I'm looking at it, this is literally January 31st, right? It's freaking March now. That's crazy. It's literally March now. And they like, haven't done anything balance wise. And I, I played today or I played tonight to do the new event. I did all those contracts and I had so much fun. I even played a couple normal tourneys afterwards, which is a good sign for having not played the game and for it, you know, not having many significant changes since I've last played that I had fun and like wanted to keep going. That's a good thing. Um, that being said, what I noticed is it was mostly the same stuff. Like it was mostly the same stuff was good. Uh, mostly the same type of comps. Uh, you know, I didn't look at this patch note stuff before I played. I looked at it after and I already kind of realized that it was kind of the same thing. So season two coming up, I would really like to see them just shift some stuff around. Uh, I just, I don't know. It's, it, it, the game feels super familiar, but almost like too familiar after putting in this many hours into it. And as many hours as a lot of people have probably put into it and the season being like three months long, um, change some shit just to change some shit you know i'm usually not a fan of that but in these types of games uh like live service games you got to do that change some of the shit that's like obviously too good that needs to be adjusted like the fucking heavy shoddy and stuff like that um but also just do some tweaks elsewhere just to see how things go look at some items that aren't used as much tweak them a little bit you know th they maybe don't need buffs but just tweak them up a little bit see if more people use it just stuff like that i'd like to see some stuff like that um just to mix up the gameplay because coming back to it, I felt like I could still throw on medium, I could still throw on the scar, and I could still just slap shots downrange and just do my thing. Even with the recon nerf, just throw on the heals, you know, use the heals when I need to use them. Uh, defibs, even though it is worse, that one update, you know, did make them a bit worse. They're still very strong. Uh, it still felt like the same stuff. Heavy, 
still a major focus on heavy. Light is still extremely niche. I still think light could use some help. Uh, most of the, I mean, there was a couple that were annoying, but most of the lights that I played against today just got absolutely ripped. And that's usually what goes with that class. And it just still didn't feel very good. It still felt like, you know, you should just be using like two mediums and a heavy, or honestly, like two heavies and a medium might be the play now. Uh, I've been out of it for so long. I didn't play any ranked. Again, I just played public tourneys, so that might even be pretty good. Um, but yeah, so swap some stuff around with the items, swap some stuff around with the characters. Get some mix-ups there. Get some good balance changes. I hope it's a long list of balance changes. I hope there's a lot that is different because even though I do enjoy the game, um, I do think it could use a shake-up because, uh, yeah, I just I felt like I was playing the same shit, um, which is kind of surprising, kind of surprising for how frequently they updated it. I thought there would have been some balance changes in there at some point. So that's, that's the main thing. Uh, the other thing going into Season 2, there's a couple things. I hope it's a new map. Judging off the stuff that they've been teasing, I think it's a new map. I think it is. I'm not really too sure. Um, it's kind of hard to tell. I'm not sure where to find that stuff either, so I'm not going to pull it up. But um, but yeah, it, they've they've been posting some like weird teasers. There's been some weird leak stuff uh, that they've been doing, and I, I feel like it means new map. I hope that's what it is. I think a new map to play on would be super welcome. I really like the maps that there are. Uh, and I think they're a lot of fun, but just having one more in the rotation, and I don't think there needs to be two per season. I mean, the maps in this game, you get a lot of replayability out of these maps. I'm gonna be real, even though I want a new map, I'm not bored of the maps. Like I said, it's really just like the gameplay stuff and the, the meta shifts that I'd like to see. Like the actual maps themselves, I'm still having fun playing on these maps. I don't mind the maps at all. Um, so it, it, like for me, it doesn't even really need a new map, but it would just be welcome uh, but that just goes to show, like, again, the replayability on these is fantastic. Like, it's still just the same four from the base game. I'm still having a lot of fun on them. But a new one would be welcome. Uh, you know, obviously there's going to be, like, new Battle Pass shit, whatever. Uh, the stuff that'll obviously come in a new season. I'm sure that'll be great. I'm sure it'll be cool stuff. That's fine. Whatever. You know, not really too focused on that. Uh, besides the new map, besides the balance changes, stuff that I'd like to see. I really want to see... I've been asking for this for a while. Them mix up uh, the game types a little bit more, too, uh, with the player count, or the teams, rather, I should say. So they did do that with the solo modes. I still think that was kind of a waste of time. Uh, it was kind of fun to fuck around in, but, I mean, look at this game. Look at this game with the three classes. Like, this game is very clearly not designed for, like, solo modes. And I do think the heavy one was better than the light one. Or it, I'm sorry, it wasn't even a light one. It was just, you could, everybody just played light. It wasn't even a light fucking solo bat. It just, that's what everybody played. But the other one, I'm pretty sure was forced to heavy. I did have more fun with that one. I thought it made sense to force everybody to the same class. But then again, I still think solos doesn't really make a whole lot of sense in this game. It's fun to fuck around with, but it's not really, you know, something that I would like for them to make permanent. It's just kind of, I don't know. It's kind of corny in this game. It's just the class system. It just doesn't really make sense. Don't don't really need it. I would like to see them introduce duos. I think duos would fit so damn well in this game. Uh, six teams of two, top half, you know, top three teams make it, and you could you could keep the same two cash outs, or with duos you could maybe experiment with adding in like a third cash out and like more boxes around the map, and that could really change the dynamic of like how those matches would play or you could not do it or they could experiment with it. They could just st stick with the same two, but just do the duo teams. They could do that too. see how that works. Either way you want to do it. I think the way that would make most sense would probably be to add in the extra one. Um, but either way you want to do it. I think that uh, it, it would be really fun. I think duos has a lot of, a lot of potential. Um, I'd like to see a different game type, not just with the different, like, you know, amount of teams, but like something like CTF, just something different uh, to play game type wise. The main game type that's in this game is fun. It has its flaws, but it's fun. Uh, but it would be nice to have a different, you know, it, I think it'd be welcome to have a different game type to play too. Um, I think that'd be pretty cool. Oh, and then not just duos, but I think 6v6 would be really fun as well. I think six straight up 6v6, two teams duking it out. I think CTF, when I was speaking of different game modes, I think CTF would go freaking super hard in that. I think that'd be really cool. Um, like a King of the Hill type mode, maybe not for the 6v6, but a King of the Hill type mode would be interesting in this game. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff they could experiment with. I would like to see more experimentation in those in those directions with the game types and the team counts. Like, I think there's a lot of potential for fun there and a lot of potential that they haven't really scratched yet. Like I said, I think they've mostly 
you know, experimented with stuff that I think is kind of whatever, um, which is unfortunate. That being said, uh, this this event, I, I thought this event was kind of fun. I mean, I only played it for a little bit, but like the idea of it with the weird ass classes, it was kind of fun. You know, it's obviously kind of gimmicky. That's what these events are kind of supposed to be. Uh, but for something different to play on this game, for to screw around with, to get the contracts, whatever, it was kind of fun. But I'd like to see something deeper. I'd like to see something, you know, like I've been talking about that would be more permanent, potentially. I mean, this is obviously like a gimmicky, like weekly mode type thing. That's that's all fine and dandy, but I'd like to see something, uh, like I was mentioning, that could, again, maybe be a little more permanent. Maybe could have a different type of, um, you know, have a different type of gameplay. Where am I getting fanfare from the early days of beta single round tournament? Wait, what? Oh, I see. That's what they're okay. Okay. I was I was confused. I was like, what the hell is going on there? Um, but uh, but yeah, like ranked changes. I forgot to mention ranked. Uh, you know, some more tweaks to to ranked would be would be welcome from what I've seen. I, I think ranked still plays pretty similarly. I still think the matchmaking is not great in ranked. Um and like the le and the ranking system itself uh is is not great so maybe some more I, I still enjoyed my ranked grind don't get me wrong and i still think it's fun because the game is fun but the ranked system probably could be better and probably could still use some tweaks the SBMM and ranked could probably still use some tweaks like that type of stuff could probably use some help um you know it's, it's pretty much the same old stuff that i've been saying right they've done a lot of bug fixes and stuff the past month but a lot of the stuff that i'm you know hoping for here is a lot of the same shit that i've been hoping for since freaking december and january and started playing this game um but yeah, to close it out, season two is coming next week. Wednesday? Is it Wednesday? Is it Tuesday? Is it Wednesday? I don't know. I think it's Wednesdays for this game. I'm not sure. I want to say it's Wednesday. Um, but either way, it's coming next week. Bet your ass I'll be back on this game. I'm going to try to get my single player chals in uh, this week and, and early next week for, you know, the ones that I want to do this month. I'm going to try to get those single player chals in early because I want to get back on this game. The, the session that I played tonight uh got me back in i'm not gonna play until the season drops now because i don't want to you know grind it now and then the season comes and i'm burnt out you know what i mean i still want to wait for the seat i still want to be fresh for that to grind that have fun with it but i will definitely be back on this game had a lot of fun tonight most of the stuff that frustrated me was like the same stuff that would piss me off in any fps game it's not you know not ideal teammates not having comms uh, whatever. It's the same type of stuff. It's not really the game's fault. The game itself was still fun as fuck. Um, and even though they haven't really changed much balance wise, it felt a little bit better to play gameplay wise. I don't know. I don't know why that was, but just, it felt a little bit better to play. Um, uh, maybe some of those bug fixes, maybe some of those, uh, tweaks that I know they Im improved the input latency on Xbox. I play on Xbox. Maybe that was it. I don't know. Something felt smooth. It, it felt good. It felt good. Um, so yeah, point is I, I had a lot of fun. Uh, even though they haven't changed much, I still think the game is fun and I'm looking forward to playing season two. That being said, I do think season two for this game, this game has dropped off quite a bit. There's still people playing it, but there's clearly not as much attention on it. I really hope that they come out with a bang in season two. I hope there's some exciting shit. I want this game to do well, uh, cause I, I still really enjoy this game. I've had zero interest to go back to Apex since it's, it's new update. God, I don't give a fuck. Battlefield is chalked until they make a new one. Um, infinite is fucking whatever. Uh, <laughs> I'm just roasting every game. Um, that's how we're closing out this video. But yeah, like shooter wise, this is the only one that I still like get on and I'm like, oh, this game has potential. I'm still kind of having fun. Like I want to see where this goes. You know, all the other ones I'm kind of waiting for new entries for COD. I want to see what Treyarch does with their next game. Cause I think that could still be fun. Um, for Halo, I think they need a new game. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. Battlefield absolutely needs a new game. Um, and honestly, Apex as well, like that game, I I've been saying it, that game is so is they're in so deep. They need like a Fortnite, how Fortnite did like the, the reset or whatever with the chapter two or whatever. Apex needs that. They need, they need something like that. They need like a reset. They need a new game. I don't know. Titanfall three, something needs to happen there. I'm just so over that game. They need, they need something. They need something. Like I said, with, with the Fortnite reset, like they need something like that. It needs a full on reset. But yeah, as far as the other games go, I'm just so burnt out. That's why I've been doing the single player stuff. I just don't give a fuck. Um, I'm just so over those games. Uh, I still think this game is fun. I'm still looking forward to it. I hope that season two is good. I hope that, again, recapping it, uh, a new map would be great. Some extensive balance changes. I don't want to read a short list. 
I don't want it to look like this. I want to be scrolling. Okay, right now, I should still be scrolling. I want to be scrolling for a long-ass time. I want to see a massive fucking page. Uh, no, sorry. I want to see massive pages of patch notes. I haven't read, you know, that long of a list of patch notes for a game like this and, like, been excited and wanted to read through it in a long fucking time. I would love to do that for this game. I would love to. I hope that that's what they deliver on. Um, yeah, different game types, like CTF or something like that, with the, with the duos, something like that. You know, experiment with the tourney format. It's already good. Maybe do some changes here or there. Um, you know, maybe longer tourneys, maybe tourneys that switch up the map or something like that. Uh, improve ranked, like all those things that I mentioned throughout the video, that's the type of stuff that I'm looking for. Cosmetics-wise and whatever, I'm sure they'll nail that. I'm sure the Battle Pass will be great. Not worried about that. Um, you know, all this other gameplay stuff. I hope that they deliver on because I think this game has a lot of potential and I want to see it uh, get some of that attention back. All right. So, yeah, that kind of that kind of sums it up. That kind of sums it up. We're getting to the point where we're going on tangents because I kind of went over everything. But, yeah, um, definitely look forward to uh, streams of this game. When, again, is it Wednesday, Tuesday? I think it's Wednesday. Uh, whenever this update drops next week, I will absolutely be back on the grind with this game because it's really fucking fun. And like, I haven't played a shooter really, I mean, hardly at all <laughs> um, in the past like month. Like I've had a really good break, uh, you know, from these types of games. And I'm definitely down to get on a new update for the one that I like the most right now and fucking slam some games. Like I'm super down for that. Had a nice break, uh, played some different shit and I'm, I'm ready for that. So I hope it delivers. Um, I think it will. I think it will. I feel pretty positive about it. I feel pretty optimistic. Um, and, uh, and yeah, looking forward to playing it, looking forward to streaming it because I had a lot of fun streaming this game. Uh, if you watch them, it may not seem like it at some times, uh, but trust, even when I'm raging, if I'm on the six hour count, I'm still playing for a reason. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm still playing for a reason. The game is pretty fun. All right. GG's. And, uh, and yeah, I probably won't do, maybe I'll post a gameplay or something, but I probably won't do a whole lot. I probably won't post a whole lot on this game until season two comes out. But once it comes out, whenever they post those patch notes, whenever the fucking update comes out, whenever I get some games on it, definitely uh, expect on some videos returning uh, with the finals because I haven't really done shit because I haven't really played shit. Expect some of that to return. All right, GG's. Uh, let me know what you want to see from season two in the comments. Jared. I saved it. I saved it for you, Jared. Jared, let me know what you want to see. When was the last time you played this game, Jared, huh? When was the last time? Are you coming back for season two? Probably not. Anyways, <laughs> GG's, and uh, yeah, see you for final season two.